We're really focused on the end device modules, uh, the embedded products, the, the sensor solutions. That's really where we see our value in the ecosystem for the LoRa uh, technology and the LoRa Alliance. We are an embedded microcontroller company. We basically play in a very broad base application space. So whether it's asset management, uh, whether it's agriculture, uh, smart city, lighting, you know, we, we basically have those customers today. Now it's a matter of getting those customers to adopt the LoRa technology for the communication. We have customers that are looking at adding um, LoRa sensors to their vineyards for monitoring the humidity, moisture, and sunlight. Uh, we have customers that are looking at other agriculture, so monitoring their, uh, their cattle and their herds. Um, and then from an asset uh, standpoint, we've got customers that are, whether it's managing parking lot spaces uh, and or uh, petroleum tanks, um, mining equipment, um, all of those where you basically have uh, assets or, or devices that are outside of your, your typical, um, you know, uh, personal or, or local area networks. LoRaWAN is another standard within our embedded wireless portfolio. So we already participate in Bluetooth, we already participate in Wi-Fi. Uh, so LoRaWAN was the uh, next embedded wireless technology that we brought into Microchip. Uh, basically we did that because we're a firm believer in the, the LoRaWAN and the LoRa technology um, and how it's actually expanding our reach uh, for embedded wireless solutions and technologies. So LoRaWAN, uh, like you know, the LTE technologies, um, is very complementary to the existing cellular infrastructure. So where we see it maybe competing in some regards, um, it's actually addressing you know, a space that we feel that the LTE and the uh, GPRS um, just, just isn't quite really able to satisfy. Uh, the, again, the LoRaWAN technology has a lot of advantages as far as low power, uh, low cost, and unlicensed band. So combining that with cellular, I think they're both going to exist. They're going to have, both have a place in the market. Um, but uh, again, they're very, very complementary. And so, so we see them both uh, really expanding now the connection services for all of the uh, wide area network sensors and, and uh, solutions. We are one of the 17 founding members of the LoRa Alliance. Uh, when we started, um, we really saw the potential of the technology. Um, and then when the, the, the member companies uh, actually made it a standards body alliance, that really solidified it for Microchip. That, that gave us the, uh, uh, the understanding that it was going to be more of a, a standards-based technology and an interoperability standard um, that um, you know, we, could, we could actually contribute to uh, and help to, to foster and to grow uh, with the other member companies and contributors for the, for the technology. The Internet of Things has already started to make an impact you know, on, uh, on not only the products that we develop, um, but more importantly on the data that we can collect, uh, what we do with that data, and how we can be more efficient with the limited resources that we have here. Uh, as well as you know how effectively we can we can use those resources and the information. So the Internet of Things is just an, another enabler in kind of the evolution, uh, where now we are collecting more data. We're being um, smarter about our decisions and actually being able to make more informed decisions because of the data that we can collect and the actions that we can take on that data. We have a full roadmap where we are actually building the next generation chips as well as mods.